Good morning, everyone. Today we are going to uncover the thoughts of the LGBTQIA plus in regard to the topics of same-sex marriage, misogyny bill, sex change, and many more. You're watching me at TV. To better understand these topics, we'll talk with a multi-talented person today. He was born in Takorong Sultan Kudarat and studied AB at Paul at Sultan Kudarat State University. He also graduated BS Education, majoring in Ethics and achiever in Great College Days. Student Council President in the year 1999 and FOP President in the year 1999 to 2000. He did not award in makeup artists, both and regional SLP, and four times in dance award. He is a four time winner in Vocal solo and representing Matad at the provincial level, but third place among 42 competitors in Paul Prophets of Life. Everyone, please welcome and let's give him a round of applause, George Bacton, also known as Amai. So, I would like to start with the first question. At what age did you discover that you were gay? I can't explain you exactly what uh, specific age why I become a gay. But the one thing I have to do is this is on the house of the environment and my own clothes. And nobody dictated to become a gay. So the moment that I become gay, probably I think 30 years old during the time. Because I started as a beautician that was 1986, so probably I am 13 years old. We know that you are a gay. How did I know that I am going to become a gay? Of course, this is what I feel. This is the, this is, uh, the real me. So I become a gay because of my peers, because of the people surrounded me. Not because of my family, but because of my uh, neighbor or playmates during the time. So I discovered, I discovered myself, oh, this is me, this is the reality. Why should I change this of this because of, of everybody? I am going to stand what I have to feel right So this is the real am I. Did your parents know about your sexuality? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, my parents uh, did all the things and said okay. And that, that the fact is my, my father also supported me, supported me during that time when I become a gay. If I have a competition during the time, I mean, my father uh, provides me everything, my costumes, my makeup, my and so on. So he accepted me for being what I got as a gay. Because according to him, then I am your son, my daughter, and we are quite nice and you for being one. Did you experience any harm done by other people? Or your family members are being paid? No, I did not. I did not uh, experience that. As, as, as a matter of fact, as what I said a while ago, my parents, my family supported, supported, uh, they are supported uh, in the way that I am the brothers and sisters and son. That's, that's, that's what you are. So all I have, all we, all we have to do is they're going to uh, support me and accept me. Is being gay an advantage or being disadvantage? Yes, or why? Probably it is an advantage, as I did, because as what you have said, they are talented, not only in their field of anymore, but of course in so many ways. That's the thing. They are flexible in everything. Yeah. What is your view about same sex unions or living together? What is my view about same sex union? Actually, I am pro-union, but I'm not pro-merits. Because as Maria said, merits is being submitted by the supplement of matrimony and merits. And according to our Bible, of course, no man, uh, no uh, man, and no, a man is for the woman, and the woman is for the man. So I am uh, allowed or in favor that the union is not to the merits. Are you in favor of same-sex marriage? Yes or no? Why? Elaborate your answer. I am not in for actually as as a third sex of the LGBT community because once I am the president of the LGBT Qatar for almost three years. So one of our topics regarding that matter is uh, same sex merits. But according to the Bible, uh, 